Hello first graders, Mrs. Hoff here. As you know, we are now studying nonfiction. That is the new genre that we've been practicing. Last week, we read a book about redwood trees. And many of you told me that the main idea of that, of that text was redwood trees. You were absolutely right. Today, we are going to read a book about robots. Our main idea is robots. So today, we're going to be learning about, we know what the main idea is. I already just told you, the main idea of this nonfiction text is robots. Now we're going to be learning more about details. So if we use our hand again, we know the main idea is what, is what is the author mainly teaching us about? And then the author's going to teach us some details about that main idea. Today, we're going to focus on the details. When I'm reading our book about robots, I want you to pay attention to what are some of the details that this author is teaching us about robots. All About Robots by Joseph Benjamin. All About Robots. Oof. Robot Dogs. These toy dogs are robots. A robot is a machine that does some kind of work. A robot dog has a good job. Its job is to be a fun toy. Can I play? There is a computer inside the robot dog. The computer acts like a brain. It tells the robot dog what to do. The computer in this robot tells it how to walk and bark. This robot dog can even do tricks. You can see the computer inside this robot dog. Robot jobs. Robots are good workers. They do not get sick or tired. And they do not need to get paid to do their jobs. Robots and cars. What was at the door? Robots do lots of different jobs. Some robots help make cars. The robots lift heavy car parts. They drill holes and use tools that are very hot. Robots even spray the paint on cars. Robot, car, robot. Robots in the sea. Robots can work in places that are dangerous for people to work. This robot works deep in the sea. The robot can stay in the water day after day it does not get cold. The robot does not need to breathe air. This robot is lifted out of the sea after making a deep dive. This robot explores a ship that sank at sea many years ago. Some robots use special tools to collect sea plants, rocks, and animals. The robots take pictures of sharks and other fish. Robots in space. 
Robots have even gone into space. This robot is called a rover. It went to the planet Mars. The rover does not have eyes. It has lots of cameras instead. The cameras keep the rover from getting lost or crashing into things. The robot took pictures for scientists back on Earth. Robot contests. Some schools have robot contests. Students make their own robots. The students think up ways to make the best robot. The winner gets a prize. I hope you enjoyed our book about robots, and I hope you learned a lot about robots. So we know our main idea that the author was teaching us was robots. Now, can you think about some of the details that this author taught you? For example, one thing I learned is that robots can do jobs that are too dangerous for people to do. What are some details that you learned? You could either type or record yourself in Seesaw telling me some more details that you learned. You could tell me maybe two more details, maybe three more details, or maybe you could even tell me five more details that you learned about robots.